Hey, welcome back again guys welcome to bossman investments glad to see you guys all my name is joe mutombo today i will be talking about property investments in the uk i will be looking at different locations in the uk where one can take benefits in investing in properties so this will be mainly focusing on those who are living in the uk or interested in investing in the uk if you're one of those then stay tuned stick around and i shall see you guys soon stay tuned and peace out yes 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 glad to see you guys are still sticking around i will continue to be talking about properties guys you know this is all about properties i love property investing it's passionate i'm passionate about it so what am i talking about different locations first of all when we're talking about properties we're always talking about supply and demands um and for me i always have a you know when i'm searching for a good area it, we all know in properties it's all about locations locations and locations you can get a good house a beautiful big house if it's in a bad location it's a bad business you can get a rugged house but if it's in a good location you can make it into a good business so location is key and when we're talking about location i always have for me a foundation a principal foundation that i tend to go with when i'm doing my research of properties the first foundation i look at the demands when i'm talking about demands versus supply um, in terms of property locations how do i identify a location which is good I always have a fundamental question when I'm doing my research and I'm trying to find out whether a location is good or bad. So number one key, I always ask myself this question, does the demand for housing outweigh the supply because or due to population growth? So, so this simply means when we're talking about the, the supply, obviously at this, in this incident is the housing, the housing market and the demand is the population. The more population is increasing, you know, the more housing supplies, the more the demands in up housing will need to be put in place. And we know at the moment the government is trying its best to create, you know, new newly built houses everywhere. We're looking at places like London where there's not even space anymore to build houses because they, it's so overpopulated. Um, the demands for houses is, is becoming very crucial and very rare to get a, an accommodation around those areas. So we know population has a very, very important role when it comes to property demand. And also another thing I'm looking at is the economy around that location. You know, is there jobs? Um, are the businesses going? Are people motivated? You know, what are the lucrative things that's happening around the area to make that area good? So when I'm listing these few areas, which I will be talking about in a second, I'm, it's mainly based on these researches that I've done, you know, the population, the economy around that area, what are the attractive things happening around that area, what's the government plans for those areas. So just guys, stay tuned and we'll keep going into detail. I know a lot of people might be impatient, you know, saying, Joe, you're bluffing a lot. Just go straight to the point. We want to know these locations, what is good to invest in properties so we can research and also make investments in that area. Well, my first, um, which I classify as number one hotspot area in the UK will be Liverpool. Why do I say Liverpool? Well, we know that Liverpool has been one of the highest performing um, location when it comes to buy to let. It's one of the hot spots in buy to let in the UK, according to researchers. And it has a development pipeline worth of £14 billion, which is a lot of money being put in this city in order to make it more lucrative. The Savills forecast has predicted that by 2024, house prices in the Northwest will increase by 24%, which is six times faster than even Greater London. What a bonus, what a shocking. This is the time when, when I saw these um, predictions, I thought, whoa, this area has a lot, this city has a lot of potentials. And on top of that, in terms of the population, Within the last 10 years, Liverpool's population has doubled, which is housing also needs to double. However, at the moment, it's not even nowhere near catching up to the population growth. 
So we see that the demand is so high, the supply is minimum, which is a very good opportunity for investors because the, the more we create in supply, the more we're meeting the demand. You might be sitting there wondering, wow, that looks good. It even gets better. Liverpool has been ranked number one for business growth and entrepreneurship growth. So which means a lot of business people, a lot of entrepreneurship people, they're looking at that area, they're going to that area to invest because they know it's an area which is, you know, it's becoming more popular. You know, you're looking at the, you know, Liverpool, you know, they've got a great football team. Um, there's so much, you know, um, I think the Beatles, were also formed in Liverpool. There is so much, you know, when it comes to historical factors um, formed around Liverpool. They've managed to put in place a new high-speed rail link to London, reducing the journey time to just one hour and 15 minutes, which is a bonus because a lot of people were complaining the distance, you know, from London to Liverpool is far, but it was demotivating business people. But now it's like an eye-opener with this, it's easy access now from Liverpool to London, which means it's attracting a lot of people. And a lot of people, the more, you know, the journey is easy, the more people are gonna be now become interested, which makes this area a key component when it comes to property investment. Finally, because I don't wanna, you know, spend too much time and just focusing on Liverpool, even though that's my favorite area to invest, but we also have other good areas, you know, that we will have to discuss. Um, so. I will end with you know the final point where well, I would love to invest in Liverpool. The fact that it has a handsome return, a very, very good return when you're talking about landlords, um, and your property buy to let, HMOs, um, you're buying it number one, you're buying it at a very reduced rate. Uh, because let's not forget, you know, a lot of places when you're looking at London, Birmingham, Manchester, most of those areas already have you know, reach the capital growth and house prices have increased significantly. Whereas when you're looking at Liverpool, house prices hasn't been really hit that much. You know, it hasn't reached its capital growth yet. So there's still a lot of potential for investors to enter it now. And obviously when those house prices goes up, you can still benefit from, from that capital growth. You know, so at the moment, house prices in Liverpool are still relatively cheap, which you can just buy in a very cheap price and enjoy high rental yield. You know, because um, I was comparing some, you know, renting price. You can even do the exercise yourself. You go to spare rooms or other platform out there, which looks at rooms for rental properties for rent. Oh, go stay agents. You know, you can buy a property somewhere like in Milton Keynes or even in London. You buy property in London, HMOs, four bedroom HMO in Milton, in Liverpool, or four bedroom in HMO in London, Milton Keynes, Bedford, or you name it, any areas. You know, you rent single rooms. In London, I'll say average price for a uh, a bedroom, you're probably looking at 500 pounds, 600 pounds. In Milton Keynes, 450. Um, uh, some of them, 500 depending on the size of the room and the area. Liverpool, you're looking at one of the most of the pro property prices in Liverpool, 450, 500, some of them 390 for smaller rooms. So the rent is pretty much the same. I'm talking about room wise, you know, renting rooms, HMOs. It's not much different with houses in Milton Keynes, Bedford, Buckingham, London. There's not that much difference. London is probably slightly raised because London prices are just ridiculous. But outside London, when you're comparing the rooms um, for rents from different cities, comparing it to Milton Keynes, you realize it's not much different. But the big difference is buying a house in Milton Keynes or London is so expensive. And buying in Liverpool is very cheap. And my strategy is always buy low and rent high a lot of people talk about this strategy so when you look for an area where you can buy it at a very cheap price and rent it very high then it's a win-win it's you know you're you're looking at a very good investment out there 
yes other places are good but the fact that they've already reached their capital growth so you're really buying the property already at a very expensive price and when you're trying to make profit by renting out rooms or the house you you won't take much rental yield you won't take much profit because already the mortgages you'll be paying will be you know very expensive whereas liverpool that's not the case nowadays in Liverpool, you can still find a good four bedroom house for 90,000, 80,000, some of them even 70,000. From what I've been researching, um, recently I've managed to secure a two apartments, so it's a you know, two huge story apartments for only 100 and 115,000. You know, and when you're looking at it, once you can, it's like buying two separate houses for 150,000, and with the plans that I'm going to deal with it, you know, it's 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 just a bonus you know people don't really look at liverpool but for me i think it's a it's a very good area to invest in now let's leave liverpool aside everybody know that's one of my favorite my favorite so far some might differ in terms of you know opinions some opinions might be different it's fine i'm not saying it's fact here i'm just basing it on my opinion and my experience and uh, in from what i've been researching in terms of property market what is my second place to invest well birmingham why am i so attracted to birmingham number one again population growth is huge uh, i think it's one of the top fives out there very huge population growth um also has prices pr uh, pr uh, price growth is one of the best since i think 2014 or so birmingham has had the highest house prices growth you know which means house prices in the capital growth you know in terms of the returns has been one of the best out there um since i think 2014 or 13 if i'm not too wrong and obviously this city as well has demonstrated global appeal by winning the bid to host the 2022 commonwealth games which is a good opportunity to purchase a house because obviously once these activities in 2022 start happening you know this global um commonwealth game you can use it as you know uh, properties for renting to buy to let you can use that service accommodation you can use as hmos so the demand is there you know the demand is there there's a lot of things happening the economy is booming and um, everything is doing what well. is a high you know um percentages of you know young professionals out there this is just literally a gold mine for property investing although has prices have increased a lot compared to liverpool um but i still think there's still more room for has for property growth or you know capital growth so it's not too late yes house prices have increased but for my prediction it's even gonna go even more higher so the earlier you jump in the better it is for you especially with all these plans and money they have in place put aside in order to you know fund for this uh plans for 2022 um uh, the commonwealth activity games and all sort of things i think it's gonna bring a huge increase in property price and also there will be a huge demands for things like service accommodation rooms even buy to let so guys look out for that area best location for property investment is manchester why do i like manchester well, Manchester is one of the fastest and largest growing population in the UK. There's a, been a, a report that has been published that just the city of Manchester is due to grow by 125,000 more population by the end, by the time it reached 2025. So the demand is so, so, so high that the government are struggling in order to meet the demands when it comes to, you know, uh, building houses, providing houses for all these populations and therefore it makes this area very appealing for property investors. House prices in Manchester, yes they have gone up you know from the past from the last five years or so. House prices have gone up significantly. However, you know there is still room for more growth. You know with all these plans that they have got in place everything that they've got in place i still believe that there's still more room for you know capital growth and i still think it's not too late there's still more opportunities for you know investors to enjoy on capital growth at the moment manchester is the second 
fastest growing price uh, since 2016. These property prices have increased by 15% since 2016, which is faster than the national average, uh, national average uh, rate. So this makes it again very appealing and you know in terms of businesses property investment i mean sorry manchester is one of the fastest growing proved economy you know we've seen i think i can't remember the year exactly more a lot of companies were relocating their headquarters and you know their places going to manchester the main one i know is bbc bbc was in y city in london they've relocated and now in manchester which shows that manchester is a very very good location for businesses and um, the economy is growing uh, the manchester's financial and professional services sector are be really booming and literally appealing to a lot of investors which those are my three main major areas of investment that i'm literally have got my eyes and everything in those three areas there are also other areas that you know one might be interested in areas such as sheffield you know this is very a very undervalued area a lot of people don't really look at sheffield but you know sheffield has prices have increased by i think 23 percent since 1999 um, which is a slow in, in increase but i do think with a lot of plans that, that they have in place they've they've got i think they've put about 480 million on regeneration so they have put in they are putting a lot of money in you know make, making it booming they are attracting you know quite a lot of investors out there they are they've got a lot of economic plan in order to help the economy you know grow so i do think sheffield is also one of uh, it's not a hot area but i think it has a lot of potentials there's also other places like leicester you know leicester has had 250 percent price growth since two, year 2000 has been ranked the number one price growth in home track in the uk so that's again another good area that you know a lot of people might want to invest leeds is another good area of money i've been keeping my eye on it's not a hot spot area but i think it has a lot of potentials and um, because leeds when you're looking at leeds it has one of the fastest growing population in any city in the uk and there's a lot there's i think a, uh, about seven billion development pipeline so they're putting a lot of money in place in order to you know help businesses grow help lead economy seven billion that's a lot of money so i do think you know wherever you see a city that has so much money they put in so much money to help a city develop i always think those are the areas to look at uh, because it will attract a lot of investors and the more investors are coming the more population is growing the more demands the higher the rent the rental yield and finally i will give you guys the last but not the least um one of the city which i think is has a lot of potentials undervalued underlooked people don't really look at those kind of cities um and they focus on the main three ones which i've discussed but sooner or later those main three ones will become like london they will be, become very saturated and very competitive so these other ones which i'm mentioning now are the ones that you know people should be also be looking at and they shouldn't just turn a blind side to those cities cardiff you know i've been looking at cardiff's performance and i think you know a lot of people don't, they don't really tend to pay too much attention to cardiff because it's in wells it's far and all those kind of things but when you're looking at cardiff statistics you will notice that there's a lot and a lot of potentials there in terms of gva cardiff have 5.7 percent growing gva which is the fastest than any core uk cities and it's also been predicted to be the fastest growing city by 2039 it may seem like a long way but at the end of the day you know the earlier you get in the more you get to enjoy it at the end because you know i would say people who enjoy properties now especially in london nowadays when you're waiting for you know the price to peak for you to enter then you you know you, you don't tend to make much gains those who bought properties in london you know 20 years ago 30 years ago they are smiling at the do during those time london prices were not that expensive and those who managed to secure properties 
now there's the millionaires some of them billionaires because they had you know they had a long-term vision you know with properties when you're coming in properties i always advise people make sure you have a long-term vision don't be short-sighted don't always look for oh where can i make money quick property is not about a quick get rich quick scheme yes there are certain strategies you can make you know you can do to make quick turn you know cash flow but in order to you know to reach that level of financial freedom um i think it's a slow step process you know you have to you know look at your long-term vision goal you have to look at your rental yield you have to look at your um uh, capital growth you have to, you know, there's a lot of things that you, you know you have to take in place and build a portfolio big also be, you know by building a good portfolio means more money coming in so it's not a you know race by you know who can get there the fastest who can make quick money just follow your own um experience follow your own gut instinct do your research do your due diligence don't follow others just follow your own pathway and believe me you know slowly but surely you will reach your financial freedom so guys those who are wondering which areas you know i'm interested in those are my areas i've got three main areas and i've got about four or five other areas that are not main but i know sooner or later i will end up investing in those areas so guys if you've got any other areas that i missed out that you guys think oh that's a good potential area please comment below let me know so i can do research in those areas because at the end of the day we're here to share knowledge i'm not what i'm saying is not facts i'm not giving you guys saying okay what i'm saying is the only truth guys it's just opinions from what i've been researching if you guys have researched more then feel free to comment below feel free to let me know and i hope you guys stay safe don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment don't forget to share and stay peace i shall see you guys soon peace out